Were you expecting something different? Excuse me? You're all the same, you know. You, you all expect us to be monsters. Expect us to be something scary, something vile, something incomprehensible. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Give me your name. And who are you? Give me that bullshit. You're a smart man, James. You've covered the greatest stories of this decade. You've got 10 books and six best-selling biographies. Don't act like you don't know who I am. At least give me the dignity of asking me a real question. <clears throat> or do I really scare you that much? You know, I'm simply just a man. John Wilson, over 80 murders can be traced back to you, most of which are individuals, but some in small groups. But over 60 separate events. And the way of death was sporadic too. Some were gruesome, some were almost normal. Old women, little boys, a couple of students minding their own business. No calling card, no MO. Impossible for police to establish a profile for you. Well, I'm glad to hear you're familiar with my work. <laughs> that wasn't a question, though. Why are you here, James? To find out what brought me to this depraved place. To find out why I killed those poor innocents. To find out why I meet out death so easily. Like I said, I am only a man. Bullshit! You're no man. Men do not kill others so easily. No? What is the history of man, if not killing? What are wars? What are gangs and policemen doing every day? <laughs> what happens wherever men live? Death is a natural consequence of living. The people I were with were alive and now they're in the next logical stage. Those people had more life to live. Clearly not. Why'd you do it? Hmm? Is it just for the thrill? Or is there some pleasure you derived from it? How dare you? Who do you think I am? You mean, you mean did I do anything with my victims? Were there some sort of toys to be played with and discarded? Yes. No! I would never do something as disgusting. Then why'd you do it? I felt like it. Have you ever stood on the edge of a building or, or a bridge and wondered what it'd be like to jump off? That feeling of defiance, that rush of adrenaline asking what would happen. So you killed these people on a whim? It felt like what needed to happen each time. But that was what had to happen. I was bored and it was a way to break the monotony. But 60 times? 83, actually. Okay. I'll tell the police about the rest eventually now that I've let them get me. Oh, you allow this to happen. You know you'll die for this, right? The death penalty is still in force here. No plea that you strike will work. I'm tired. And death is just a natural consequence of living. Men will die whether they want to or not. Again, you know, man, you, sir, are a monster. Then go ahead. Go out there and, and do your job. Vilify me. Describe my vicious teeth and hideous appearance. I'm gonna sneak up on unsuspecting hitchhikers and 
hide under children's beds. Or you can go tell them the truth. A man who looks and acts like them is a monster. <laughs>